Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome to another episode of Greeno Eats. Now me and Littlen have come camping for the weekend, and as you can see, the weather is absolutely glorious. <laughs> Typical British weather, we've put the tent up just before the rain came, but yeah, it's been chucking it down pretty much ever since, so it's going to be a long old night I think, so rather than go out for, for food somewhere else, we've decided to use this little pub on the campsite that we're on. So we're down in South Devon, we're not too far from Exmouth on, uh, on a little camping site. It's got lodges, it's got hard standing for caravans. We're just in the camping field. Uh, it's called Castle Break uh, Campsite, whatever. <laughs> so uh, there we are, that's why it's called the Castle Inn behind us. So we're gonna get some dinner here tonight. Let's pop in, see what they got to feed us with. The pub had a light and airy looking seating area with table service and a variety of comfy looking seating options. Some nice little touches around too, like these dried flowers decorating the tables. Little Un decided to have a J2O to drink, her preference being the apple and raspberry flavour. I, on the other hand, decided that a nice pint of San Miguel would do the trick. Doesn't that look delicious? As always, that first sip is the best, especially in the knowledge that we had a wet and windy night under canvas to come. Time to take a look at the menu, and there's not a bad selection. A few nibbles and starters there, should you wish. And in the main section, some real pub classics like ham, egg and chips, curry and sausage and mash, along with a vegetarian option. The obligatory fish and chips, of course, and a few grill items such as steak and gammon. And some simple sides if you need them. I decided to go for the Castle Burger, which promised a huge range of ingredients. Littlen picked a kid's meal of chicken nuggets, chips and beans, pinching one of my onion rings. And she really enjoyed it, wolfing it down in next to no time. And here's my plate, take a look at that good portion of chips that look really nicely cooked, the burger with crispy bacon, oozing with cheese and barbecue sauce, plenty of pickles too, and that fresh slaw on the side, which looks homemade to me. Overall, a really tasty looking plate of food. Let's start with the chips, chunky ones these, like a steak cut chip a nice golden colour, good crisp to the outside, and soft and fluffy in the middle. A good chip! The slaw was fresh and colourful with a light dressing, really crunchy and tasty. The onion rings looked bought in, but they were good quality. A good crisp bite with a whole slice of onion within. Although a little greasy if you pick them up to eat them. Time for the main event, the burger. A six ounce patty with cheese and bacon, salad and pickles and two different sauces. Not quite sure how to attack it, but after some advice from Littlen, it was just get on and bite it. And a tasty bite it was too see how juicy the patty was. The bun had been lightly toasted and the combinations of textures and flavours was great. Plenty of thickly sliced pickles were a delight. And it was a pretty messy burger to eat. So the napkins were certainly welcome. Staff were great and came and asked if we wanted more drinks. Well, I wasn't going to refuse, was I? <laughs> I decided to take a bit of the bun and make a chip butty, which was yummy. And then I was done. Didn't quite finish it all, but I certainly had my fill. Littlen wasn't done though, 
and managed to persuade me to get her a chocolate brownie and ice cream for pudding. It looked decent and she thoroughly enjoyed it, finishing it off even after she said she was full. Okay then folks, so what do we make of that? Do you know what? It wasn't bad. Um, when you come to these campsites and whatever, you don't really expect very much in their sort of bars and restaurants, but this was pretty decent. Little and had the, uh, the chicken nuggets and chips and beans, which she thoroughly enjoyed. She said the nuggets were brilliant. Uh, she had one of my onion rings too, which she really liked. Uh, the burger wasn't bad. Uh, obviously it was a bought-in burger. Um, quite a big, thick, six-ounce patty. But it was cooked nicely. It was nice and juicy. Uh, the bacon was nice on there. The barbecue sauce was good. Couldn't really pick up the cheese. Couldn't really pick up the, uh, the burger sauce particularly. Um, there was just a lot going on in the burger. <laughs> but it was tasty. It was a bit messy. Ended up eating the sort of rest of it with a knife and fork. But yeah, it was good enough. Good enough. The slaw wasn't bad either. It's quite nice not being a creamy one. It's had a bit of dressing on there with the red onion, the cabbage, the carrot. Overall, not bad. A couple of nice cold bites of San Miguel. Can't go wrong with that, can you? The little and, well, that chocolate brownie she had absolutely demolished it. That was an adult portion as well. She'd had the kids' meal, but she wanted the adult pudding. <laughs> and then she told me that she was going to roll down the hill back to the tent. So, But overall, yeah, pretty decent. I'd say a 7 out of 10. The staff were really, really attentive, and they were great, to be honest. The young lad working in there, very, very chatty, asking us about all our plans for the weekend and what have you. And the two ladies who were working in there were great as well. We had a good check back. Um, everyone was sort of checking that we were looked after properly and enjoying what we were having. So, yeah compared to a lot of places you go like this the service was absolutely brilliant so well done to them okay so that's going to be it from me for now as you can see the weather behind me has not improved <laughs> look at this this is the middle of august in the uk <laughs> this is supposed to be the height of the summer holidays absolutely bonkers anyway if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to click a thumbs up on there for me and if you're new around here and you enjoy what you've seen then why not consider clicking that little uh, subscribe button, ding your bell for notifications, and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Anyway, that's it from me for now. Hopefully, we'll get a bit of sunshine the rest of the weekend, and we'll get another video or two out of it. <laughs> we'll see. Catch you later. Bye for now.